everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and first up I just wanted to say that this video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program and they did send me this pack a couple of days early so I've been able to record these videos for you guys. I posted three new videos yesterday. We went over all of the new creative sim items in one video. In another video we looked at every single new spell and then in the third video we looked at all the new familiars your spell casters can kind of have as pets so if you're interested in those they're all on the channel uh, so you can go check them out but today we're building a starter house in Glimmerbrook the new world coming with the sims 4 realm of magic and we're only using realm of magic and base game so if you're getting this pack you will be able to download and use this house part of the reason I wanted to do this is because all the houses in Glimmerbrook are not great uh, tragic some might say. Um, I bought the starter house when I was doing my gameplay and I was not very impressed with the starter house. Then there's one empty lot which is this one so I bulldozed that lot. I had like a couple trees on it and that's where I am building. This world has I think four 30 by 20 lots which is a lot of small lots and then I think one 30 by 40 so it's weird because all these lots have these like really, really grand driveways onto the lot, but it's like a tiny lot. Like, what do you want? It's not like I can build a mansion here. So I didn't even notice the huge driveway right there that is super, super wide. So it looks a little bit awkward in the end because I noticed that like after I had done all the landscaping, I was like, crap, <laughs> my driveway is not as big so it looks a bit awkward but maybe you can make it work maybe you can move it further back or something and make it wider or if you don't care like i honestly don't then you are fine but yeah we're building today using all of the new items from realm of magic i didn't do a build and buy overview so if you're interested in my thoughts on the new items i guess this is a good video to watch it's a short little build i wanted to do so yeah i i saw a couple of people mention on twitter that they couldn't really find um a perfect starter house for their spellcasters or one that really fit glimmerbrook so that's why i really wanted to build one and yeah i wanted to make something that all of you guys could download as well. I have not built a starter house in literally forever. I forgot how hard it is with the limited money like I felt the entire time that I had zero money. So it looks pretty nice from the outside, I think, but the inside, you have everything you need, but it just doesn't look that decorated because obviously like I ran out of money so many times and I went back and I deleted some items and put some other ones instead. So you have everything you need. The bathroom is really nice. That's like the only nice room, which is really weird because it's the smallest, most useless room. Not useless, it's very useful, but like you don't spend that much time in there. So yeah, <laughs> I wanted to use these fences. They're so pretty. They would have looked so good, but using those fences all around the house here costs like 1.5k simoleons or something crazy like that. So obviously that wasn't an option. I'm also in love with these new windows. They're so, so pretty. I'm kind of obsessed with them. Obviously they won't be that useful for loads of different builds. They're not that versatile. They do come in a couple of more neutral swatches uh, that you could see right there. For example, the brown, I think there's a white one as well, but I just love this purple one. I knew I wanted to use it as soon as I saw it. So I based the whole house around these windows. Also, I kind just built whatever I didn't really have a plan for this house I wanted it to look a little bit a little bit quirky and weird because it is for a witch or a spellcaster so I love the purpley black windows they're so pretty I forgot what they're called when the windows have this like cool patterns on them I don't know what it's called in English but they're really really pretty and the whole purple and like blues, they were giving me like major witchy vibes. So I love them and you can put the half round windows together to create like a bigger rounder window. And then we have these huge round windows and smaller rectangle windows and like a huge big half round window as well. As you can tell, I don't know <laughs> the official terms for these. <laughs> 
<laughs> like window shapes but again i'm obsessed with them won't be using them again for a long time because they just don't go for that many builds but for this one i loved them and definitely they kind of make this build and i'm using like everything from the new pack i really wanted to like just get as many items in this build as possible so i'm using new wallpaper and new flooring from this pack this is a new wooden flooring which is pretty interesting it has these different patterns i don't mind it i think it's kind of cute but definitely again not for every build that's the big window right there behind the dining table it's huge but like look at the moon and stars on it just loving it and yeah the table is new the chairs are new i'm using a new bed a new dresser this little cabinet thing whatever i just put upstairs is new i only cost a hundred simoleons and then we've got a different one which is really really cute i really wanted to put it there next to the door it has like different witchy potion ingredients or something on it and it costs 800 simoleons i'm like are you joking this bigger thing costs 100 and then this thing right here costs 800 some of these items have really questionable prices if you ask me i don't really get it for example the door the front door that i'm using you guys can see me use an arch and then a door behind it i don't know why i did that just wanted to use both of them i thought they looked really cool that door that big double door uh, this is like medium wall height as well. It's 50 simoleons. But then we also got two other doors that are very similar. And they're like over 300 simoleons. So I don't really know if that was a mistake or what the heck is going on there. Why is one of them 50 and the other ones are like six times as expensive? I don't know. So this pack definitely has its own glitches and mistakes. Like if you've seen other people's videos, some of the houses don't make any sense. I think Kayla made a video showcasing one of the houses, pre-made houses in Glimmerbrook has stairs in the backyard going into the house, but there's no door. <laughs> They're literally useless stairs. So yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the prices of the item is definitely questionable the potions that you can make in this pack don't sell for any money they are free so you can't make a potion shop so i don't know if that's intentional or if it's a mistake but it seems like there's been a lot of mistakes in the sims 4 lately also i put in a cauldron in here i really wanted to there's two cauldrons in this pack the other one is more fancy it has crystals lighting it up and it's really cool it would have looked really good here but it was a lot more expensive so i'm using the basic cauldron right there where you walk in but i just really wanted to have everything you might need to i don't know practice magic in here and make your own potions because i never brought i never bought a cauldron and i had to go into the magic hq every time i wanted to make potions so it would be just more handy to have it at your house uh these couches and the coffee table are base game because they were way cheaper and then i'm using a little uh wand display thing there on the table which is really cute this book shelf is from the pack uh the bed is and i'm gonna change and put the dresser here next to the bed instead of this nightstand and this carpet also from the pack it comes in two pieces so you can make it really long if you want to i put two pieces together there i think they're like 30 simoleons per piece so it was really cheap and i sized it up so i'm using it there and in the bathroom it's pretty nice it has a couple of different swatches to make it more versatile all the kitchen stuff is base game and it's the cheapest stuff because I honestly ran out of money. So once you get more money, there's definitely a lot of room to expand and buy better appliances upstairs by one of the big round windows. I feel like it would be perfect to put your study desk there and a chair, maybe a computer if you want one. But I just didn't have the money. And then there's a bunch of like empty corners and nooks where you can put your own stuff, whatever you want to buy for your sim. Honestly, I mean, obviously, I only used 20,000 simoleons. That is not a lot of money. So when you get more money from whatever it is that you do, how do you make money as a witch? That's a good question because you can't sell potions. Obviously, you don't have a job, but there's no witchy jobs. When I was playing this, for like five hours i just gave myself a bunch of money through cheats so i don't know you decide for yourself how you want to play but here's a house for you to play in and then here i have 171 simoleons so i was i think i just deleted some windows or something <laughs> to make more money because i wanted to do some landscaping and then i realized that in a recent update we got access to all of these live edit objects that are in the debug menu and they're all zero simoleons and i saw a tweet when they came out that oh my god this is perfect for starter houses and i remembered it while i was building i was like oh my god what was the cheat again i need to use it and pull out all these free items so 
all these items that I'm using to landscape cost me zero simoleons. So I was able to landscape a lot. I was super happy about it. I don't know if it's cheating. I don't think so, considering you can buy them and they cost zero. So I took advantage of that. So there's a lot putting trees around, bushes, flowers, and it looks pretty cute in the end. I'm really happy with it. I believe the cheat you have to do is bb.show live edit objects. This was the first time I used it and it was super, super useful. I was even able to replace some of the plants that I bought with my simoleons to the exact same ones, but they were zero simoleons. Definitely feels like cheating, but like why not take advantage of something that is in the game? So yeah, that is pretty much the house. I'm just landscaping, but yeah, it's a two floor starter house. Definitely enough space to expand. If you have two sims moving in here, you will have enough money to buy a second bed, put it somewhere. I don't know, you'll figure it out. Buy whatever you want. But yeah, um, for Glimmerbrook, I I don't know if I like this world. I don't think I would ever choose to live here unless I was a spellcaster because I find it it's not like there's not much to do. There's one pub, which by the way is not the best. It definitely needs renovating and then that's it. And there's a couple of residential lots, but this world kind of looks like Granite Falls a little bit. There is nothing witchy here until you go through the portal to the actual realm of magic world where you can't live. So it's a nice world. It's small. It's a game pack world, but... I don't know, it's just, it's not something where I would choose to live in a normal city. I definitely still love San Machuno. It's like my favorite place to live. And I also really like Windenburg. So I recommend living in those places for regular sims. But yeah, Glimmerbrook is okay. Definitely like the new world that's in Realm of Magic, the floating witch kingdom. It's not a kingdom, but it sounded cool. So that place is cool. This place is kind of meh, but yeah. That is it for the build. If you want to download this and use it in your game, it is on the gallery now. The Realm of Magic pack is coming out today. Probably already came out by the time this video is going live. So if you want to buy it, it is available on Origin, I think for around 20 bucks. And yeah, you can find it under my username, which is YT, or with the hashtag Eliandra. If you're playing on console, I'm sorry, you can't download stuff from the gallery and the pack isn't out until next month. But here's a preview of all the new items that you will be getting with Realm of Magic. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here and go check out my other Realm of Magic content that I put out yesterday. There was three videos. I'm sure you guys will find some new ideas and information in in those videos. Anyways, let me know if you want to see more builds on the channel and what else you want to see. And yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one and bye. This